What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing Gran Turismo Sport for the first time on my channel. Um, this should be a pretty interesting experience. I've uh, recently set up this game with the wheel on the PS4 Pro and um, yeah, be my first. I've done I've done laps on the controller yesterday, just like doing some time trial, my first race and stuff, but today I'm, I'm properly getting into it on the wheel and uh, I don't know, we'll have a look at what we can do today. I might dive into the campaign to start off with and then we might actually venture online and do a race or two. So, I have no, absolutely no format for this video. We're just going to play Gran Turismo and um, see what it's like. Oh my god. That thing looks stunning. I want that. So, we're doing a mission challenge. There's like driving school and, and learning where to brake for all these other tracks and stuff. But, to be honest, I don't want to do that. You don't want to see that either. So, we'll jump into uh, something a little bit more... Hopefully engaging. So this is a, a challenge where we've got to overtake a couple of cars and just beat our overall starting position before we get to some cones or something. I'm not too sure. But uh, we'll jump in and uh, see how we go. Hopefully the wheel is calibrated correctly. Otherwise, I'll be in a whole world of trouble. Okay, away we go. Let's change the position. Yeah, let's go the driving position and see how we go. We're in a Mazda... MX-5, I think auto braking is on, um, no, no, sorry, I mean auto, auto gears is on, sorry, not auto braking, I'm not that bad, but uh, yeah, there we go, that's a couple of positions already, I think the uh, checkpoint is coming up, this is, this feels a lot more progressive, a lot more smooth on the wheel, I was driving on the controller yesterday, and it was a real handful, uh, trying to counter slide, oh, was just uh, near on impossible, it, it just was, but uh, there we go, That's that was not hard at all. In all honesty, that was a bit crap. <laughs> uh, we have like so many different stages that you can tackle. This I think this is more of a kind of do on my own kind of thing. I, I believe all this like progression like in the kind of campaign mode leads to like getting an official like FIA kind of racing license, like a virtual one. So that's pretty cool. So that's, that's something I definitely would be interested in working towards, but... Uh, I had a look at the brief arcade mode yesterday, single race time trial. Um, I've already had a look at that, so we won't we won't like really bother with that. I'm actually working with um, PlayStation to um, cover like how to you know get all the trophies and stuff and the best way of doing that. So keep an eye out for that video later on in the week. But um, today, yeah, we had a look at campaign. Can we do? Okay, we have to do racing etiquette. Learn the necessary rules and etiquette for taking part in races. This option is required to participate in online races. This is the bit of the video where they tell you not to drive into a pit wall intentionally during a league race, I bet. Uh, sportsmanship. A qualification is required in order to take part in sport mode and lobbies. Watch the video lessons and earn your qualification. Uh, you know, in all honesty, I always think the F1 games need something like this. Like, you need to sit down, learn the rules, and know how to play before you get online. It feels like kind of a, a briefing before you get in like a go-kart or something. Uh, honestly, F1 2017 online noobs, watch. Welcome to the Racing Etiquette. In this section, you will be learning about sportsmanship. And then in all honesty, this is the part where I just like look down at my phone and, and say, oh yeah, I watched it, yeah, we're good. And then cause an incident in the race. A sport is something you enjoy together with others. For this, there is sportsmanship, the attitude you must have when you partake in a sport. So, what is sportsmanship? Diving up the inside. Everyone knows that all sports Leaving no have space. Rules. To avoid doing things to anyone that makes you look bad. That's the core idea behind sportsmanship that is beyond rules. Motorsport is called a non-contact sport. That means it is a sport which does absolutely not allow contact with others. Unless you're in NASCAR. But in order to achieve this, it is not enough to have a strict set of rules. It is extremely important that everyone works to avoid doing things that make you look bad. Okay, so that is the that's the first lesson. We we're halfway there. It feels like you know the, the old rainy day in school when your your main teacher hasn't come in and you've got the substitute in and he puts on all the videos for you. This is this is what this feels like. A bit of a a history lesson. First of all. Weaving back and forth to block the path of other cars is prohibited. That's fine. That looks, like, that looks fine to me. It looks like he spun out on his own. 
The worst is when you become a missile by not being able to stop within the track. You mean a torpedo? The cars and ruining the race for others as well as yourself. And finally, how can you protect yourself from these types of accidents? During a race, it is not easy to communicate your intent with other drivers. But by monitoring the other cars around you, you will start to understand the tendencies of each car and driver as well as their skills. If you feel that a certain driver seems a bit dangerous, or that a certain car is not used to racing yet, rethink and reposition yourself on the track so that you can avoid being involved in the chaos that they may cause. Some pretty good tips there. Um, I feel like I should probably do a similar video of my own on that. Hey, we got an achievement. Um, is that is that literally the license? No, it's the license to race online. Okay. Cheers for that. Like I said, I I should try. I should make a video how to I don't know avoid noobs. How to survive. How to get through lap one, turn one cleanly. Something like that. It's something I've always wanted to do in the in the past, but I just never really had the inspiration, or just I didn't really know how to how to make the video. But I, I will certainly get on to doing something like that right now because it seems to be something that's really plaguing me right now in in league racing. And um, with Gran Turismo Sport, trying to be a clean driver, I feel like it's probably the right time to do something like that. But uh, let's get into an actual race now. It's been too long. How long have I been re recording for? Thirteen minutes. We'll get through this, and then we'll get going. Hmm. Driver rating is an indication of how fast you are. This is classified in EDCBA and S in ascending order. Driver rating will increase when the driver performs well in sport mode races. All drivers start with E as a rating. DR also has an SR limit, safety rating I'm guessing, like iRacing, meaning that you need to raise your safety rating um, before you can race uh, raise your driver rating. Okay. Ah, uh, sportsmanship rating, okay. So, we have daily races, I think that'll be a, a great starting point. We have the FIA GT Nations Cup, FIA GT Manufacture Series, and the Polyphony Digital Championship. Uh, now, I don't want to get myself in too deep here, I've barely done any mileage on this game. We'll jump in to the daily races. Hey, does that mean I own it? N no, terrible joke. Uh, N300, Brent's Hatch Indy Circuit, no idea what car we're in. But uh, let's get going. Oh, okay, this uh, this is uh, pretty similar to iRacing. Then you have a specific race time start, and, and it starts in 34 minutes. So um, I'll do some qualifying, and um, we'll see what the pace is like then. Jeez, I am really overestimating what this car can do. It is it is not capable. <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination, not in a straight line, not in the corners, braking is okay, but I'm still trying to get a feeler of it. It's it's very... Initial, initial impressions, the, the handling is quite numb, it's hard, hard to get a feel for it. I'm used to racing at Formula 1 cars, where I've got the force feedback turned up a whole lot, but I'm not really getting much out of my T150 wheel right now. Hello, person in the top left, Welsh Dragon. Yes, I am the F1 YouTuber. Thanks for asking. Hey, we made turn one at Brands Hatch. It's a miracle. Not quite flat out through here, through this quick left-right bit. Coming up to the final corner. Let's keep it nice and tight, slow it down. I don't really know how much steering lock I can get away with before there's too much scrubbing of the front tires, but I'm just guessing away, and hopefully this is a decent lap. As we come across the line, I don't know what my previous best is. It's a one minute point three. This is Brands Hatch in under a minute. Thank you very much. So 59.324, it's it's a solid lap. It's it's nothing amazing. Uh, no, I don't want to save that. I could probably improve by oh, at least a second. But I don't want to spend all day doing qualifying. This is just to get me either in a decent split or a decent lobby. Um, but that'll do for now. We do have a bit of a wait before this race starts. So before we go off and do the first online race, let's actually do... An actual race, um, but it might have to be single player. 25 minutes. We should be able to squeeze in a race before then. Oh, end of entry period. See, like, I literally missed out by by under a minute. That is very unfortunate. Hello, beautiful McLaren. I've decided to switch up and, and do um, race number C. Um, that actually starts in 19 minutes. I'm going to do qualifying for that now. That engine sounds really nice. So... Let's um, let's bang out a time here, 
and um, we'll start this race. I'm sorry, this race, is, this like video has been all over the place. So apologies if this has just been, you know, completely different to my normal stuff. But I'm still learning. This is essentially my my first real day on Gran Turismo Sport. Still getting a feeler of it. And here we go for our first first lap of this oval. I used to do a bit of oval racing as well in iRacing, racing, IndyCar, and it was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. I should go back to doing iRacing racing again. Oh yes, tuck in nice and D. That's purple. Stay up nice and high. And then we'll tuck in, get a nice square exit, hopefully stay flat without hitting the wall. That's going to be my challenge while doing this. I might have to feather the brakes. See, this first turn here is fine, even though I hit it then. Uh, slight tap on the brakes. Be a bit more progressive on the throttle. Less steering lock. And we still hit the wall. Uh. I've learnt nothing. Best time is a 15, 15 second lap time. Let's, uh, let's cool off and we'll build to a qualifying lap very soon. How do we do that, you ask? We're going to stay up really high, build up our, moment, our momentum. This isn't really a flat out kind of oval circuit. So there isn't much need to do this, but I'm just going to do it for a lap or so. Just to get my, my, my momentum and rhythm back and then we'll get underway with this now. We'll follow on board for this lap, hopefully it's purple. Don't touch the apron, you idiot. Okay, braking nice and heavily. Straight exit. And I st nah, I think I'm just turning in too early for that final bit. And I'm just... Li I just it's just too shallow. Not leaving myself any exit space. We're getting sweaty with this game already. Alright, let's 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 give up on that. <laughs> I'm actually getting a bit dizzy in my... My right arm is doing all the turning. It's holding the wheel the whole time. It's actually getting a bit sore. Um, yeah, getting the excuses out already, but there we go. 1,800 credits just for qualifying, 70 mile points. This game tracks a lot of stuff, how, much, how many miles you do, how much time you spend actually driving, and it all contributes to, to your driver level and uh, some of the rewards you unlock with, with trophies and whatever else. So, let's see. We have some green sectors, sector one and two, both on differing laps. So, again, the, the potential for a really good lap is there. I just need to go out and get it, but 15.262, uh, I guess I'll take it. I'm not going to lie, watching that clock just constantly tick away at the seconds is not making time go any faster. Alright then, I've uh, made a pretty big discovery while doing some sweaty practice laps. Apparently you can go full lock, or near enough to full lock, and you don't get that understeer that you do um, on the F1 game. So, I'm glad I found that out in the final minute or so before actually getting into this race. That gave me like a second in terms of overall lap time. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go heading into this race. We are in what position? P13. The best time is a 14.1. So, yeah, like only a tenth away and we only started doing the full lock method literally a minute before the qualifying ended. So. Uh, we'll see how we go for this race. I, I believe I'm recording right there. Hello. And um, we will get this underway. Hopefully I'm not talking to people in uh, the chat. That would be really embarrassing. But uh, yeah, let's get started. I've just realized I don't have mirrors. I can't see what's going on beside me or behind me or whatever. This is going to be quite dangerous, I think. Oh, P1. Hello. Hello on the pace. Thank you very much. 14-0? Are you having a laugh? That's my best, that's my PV. And I pull it out in the warm up. GG. This is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be so interesting, this race. So, with that, we topped warm up and we do have the pace. It's, um, it, it's right alongside the pace of the front runners on their 14 flat. So, yeah, this is gonna be a pretty interesting race. Again, I don't know if I'm talking in this, in this lobby. I don't hear anyone else talking to me, so I'm just gonna carry on. Like I am. So here we go. First race on GT Sport. This should be pretty darn interesting. Hopefully we don't get blown up. That, that's um, it's ultimately going to be my aim. But hopefully we can move forward and have a good race. Oh, what? Okay, we're getting straight into this then. Okay, here we go. First race. Apologies if I don't talk very much. Um, I want to do well for myself here. This might just be a gameplay only segment. But here we go. we got Mustang right in front of us. Let's hopefully dispatch him ASAP. 
He covers to the inside. People are going off. A lot of people lost momentum on that first lap, hitting that outside wall, no doubt. Oh, we're in P6. Haven't been blown up so far. Okay, let's go to the outside. Let's run the high line, see if we can get some momentum going. Oh. Okay, good thing that guy ghosted. Otherwise, I would have been in a whole world of trouble. P5 out of 24 runners. Let's continue to march forward. 15 laps, so not a very long race. Oh, I've got a penalty of 14 seconds? Do I? Okay, so... Oh, come on. 17 second penalty. I don't even know what I did. Was it yellow flags? I only hit the wall like once. Okay, let's lift off into the corners. Oh, this is really frustrating. Let's just completely lift off. Let this guy go through. I do not agree with that. I'm gonna have to watch the footage back and see what this penalty was for. But honestly, I really do not agree with that. Three seconds, two seconds. Okay, no penalties looming over our heads now. P10, or P11, sorry. Oh, side by side through there. Oh, that was tight. Oh man, that was close. This is not safe either, like the amount of people who are slowing down. I mean, I was guilty of it too because of the, like, hitting the wall penalty. You can't just have people slowing down on the racing line. It's, it's not the greatest thing, but we get P8. I think a few penalties have been applied as well for people who didn't slow down or didn't realise, but there we go. P10, down to like P15 or whatever it was, back up to P8. I'll take it. Another trophy earned. Run, run, run. Congrats to Epic Aussie for winning the Grand Prix. But uh, yeah, I could have won that. I, I really could have won that. I had the pace. I just had like, what was it? You, we had 17 seconds worth of penalties at one stage and we ended up... Uh, nine seconds away, so would have been right there. Fast as that was a 14-0. I don't know what mine was. I don't think it would have been too great because I was in heavy traffic, but either way, that was quite fun. I can't believe I did that. Honestly, I feel so sorry for the people I was just racing with because they heard everything I said, but I guess the majority of them didn't have microphones, so they couldn't say, shut the hell up, Ben. I'm trying to race. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to do another race. Um, this time in the uh, Genesis Coupe that we saw earlier. I'm not as confident in this one because I just don't have the same control over the car. So this one will be quite interesting. I'm going to have to hope that everyone else in this lobby is just as terrible as I am. 16th place. 16th place in a 24-man field. This is going to be a tough race. Uh, some people have some decent cars. I only had the choice of my... Genesis Coupe. But okay, no, we're P9. I don't, I don't get how that's worked. But okay, P9. It's going to be crucial for me to not be, not be an idiot at turn one. Because that corner for me is just the absolute trouble, trouble spot. Okay, at least I'm not that guy. Or that guy. Okay. My confidence in this, in this lobby is, is slowly rising corner by corner. Okay, the final will begin in zero seconds. I'm actually looking forward to this one more than what I was in the last one because we're actually on a, not an oval, uh, we're actually on a proper circuit. Um, driver skill is going to come into this a little bit more. I'm just hoping that I can reel it in a little bit and not make mistakes. I think that's what really cost me in the last race, just those, getting those penalties. So I'll do my best, but something tells me I will probably stuff it up. Let's get ready. Away we go. Moment of truth. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully finish this video off on a high. Turn one. I just follow the breaking points of everyone else, and that seems to have worked. So we're going to get in a position up the inside as well here. I'm not going to go too eager. So I know everyone will be very aggressive. Possibly. Like that guy. And that guy. Thanks for that. Please don't give me penalties for contact. That was not my fault! Ah. Oh. I'm just going to press on, because if we slow down, we'll put ourselves in the pack. If I get some distance and just take the penalty at the end of the race, that might probably be the better way to go. But yeah, I can't believe I got that. That guy just like swerved across me at turn two. That guy's getting sideways. Let's break early. Let's avoid all the madness. There's Renault Megane. Late on the brakes. At least what I think is late. It was late indeed. Going around the outside of a guy. 
on our inside. I think it's the white car. He's nowhere to be seen. Oh, come on. Come on. What's going on there? I've got a touch up there. There's someone on my inside as well. I can't, I can't, like, look that direction. I'm being shoved. I'm getting a bit of a squeeze from the Subi. It's down to P5. Another guy has run completely off track there. And that's P4 again. This race could go either way. Like, there's probably, like, so many people with differing penalties looming over their heads. So we're going to press on. Up the inside of the Subaru, heading into turn one. Nice and early. <laughs> he gave me the squeeze! And now he's paying the consequences. See you later, pal. We're on the podium. Let's, uh, let's hold on to this. Oh, that guy, that guy in the red Subaru is pretty decent. He's all over my bumper. Oh, let's do this. Mount that curb. Nice and tight. We're going purple. Personal best for us. And I followed that Renault in a little bit too deep into the corner. But I still think we got the better exit, though. Let's see what we can do. I'm not too sure about turn one. We'll try and set him up for turn two, though. Oh, the power. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's pretty even between the two of us. Might go slightly deeper. Under brakes. Yeah, he's, he's run wide. He's run wide. This is our moment. This is our moment on the last lap of the Brands Hatch Grand Prix in the slowest cars you can find on Gran Turismo. This is for everything here. He's, he's bottled under pressure. He's ran wide. He may have a penalty because of that. But we're going to see if we can get him anyway. The guy in first, he's so close. He is so close. Let's see what we can do. Maybe a little switch back. A switch. No, he covers the inside very nicely. Good job, son. On the power early. We might have him on the switch back. He's run out a little bit too far wide. We have the shorter run to the finish line, and I think we are going to do this. P2 on track. Where will it be after all the penalties? I'm not too sure, but that has been our first proper circuit race on GT Sport. Due to the stupid penalty we got on the first lap, it puts us down to P5. <sighs> but there we go. That has been Gran Turismo Sport. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You see plenty more racing game content. I'm certainly going to cover more of this game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy as well. I know it was a little bit uh, of a slow start and a different, you know, kind of change of pace compared to what I normally do. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And um, in the next, you know, video, we'll jump in some faster cars or something like that. Maybe try out the, the proper championships or whatever else like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Until the next one, I'll see you next time. Oh! I got the fastest lap as well. Thank you.